So in this video I want to organize our scripts a bit better and organize um, the code a bit and I want to talk about instances. So just to recap we run into the trigger and a random amount of enemies are created at, at all of our spawn points. So that's that. That's what we've done. Um, so if we jump into our player trigger scripts we've got all of, all of our code here which creates all the enemies at the different points and stuff. So uh, and once you think about it, this code does not belong in this script. I mean, this script is just to, um, you know, deal with the collisions, the triggers which the player collides with. So I want to move all this stuff to a different script. So I'm going to call it uh, enemy, let's say enemy spawn controller. Okay, so all I want to do is copy and paste a little bit of code to start with. Let's delete this. Um, so this is really important guys organizing your scripts let's um yeah all the way from here down to here okay so let's create a function for this public uh, void for example and uh, spawn enemies let's call it that let's paste it and uh, straight away let's just tidy things up a bit okay so that's our script and everything's exactly the same that was on this one so we want to refer to this script and to do that uh, we need to instance it out so we, we have two options here guys we can make this a static fun uh, method and call it from any scripts just by saying enemy spawn controller dot uh, spawn enemies to call it or we can create an instance of the whole script and call it from there so the best thing to do here I think would be to create an instance of the script because we might want to use uh, different instances of this script and pass through different uh, values and call different functions and stuff and change them. If this was a static void, this will never change, so we'd have to do exactly the same every time. So uh, if we instance the whole script, we can copy it out to different objects and create uh, different scenarios using the same methods. Uh, and that's what I want to do in the future. So to, uh, in to begin with, uh, I want to create an instance of the script. We don't have to do this um, in the future. We could drop this script onto different game objects and refer to it by that. But just for now, I'm going to create an instance. So uh, to do that, we say public static. So an instance has to be static. Um, and as a type, we can call it the script name. So enemy spawn controller and call it instance. OK, and public, uh, no not public, let's just say void awake, so on the awake function of this script, just say uh, instance equals this, so all the instances guys is this script, I'm referring to the script, so it's an object storing the script, um, we can delete this, and all we need to do on the player triggers is uh, say enemy spawn controller dot instance, um, and then give it the, the method so spawn enemies okay it's as simple as that so let's just put it in the game in an empty object for example for now uh, create empty where'd it go uh, empty don't think it created it create empty that's the one game object um, let's say enemies enemy spawn controller one let's just say that put the script on it uh, enemy spawn controller as the enemy prefab let's jump into our prefabs and put the enemy on it and let's see if it works shall we so run into the trigger and boom exactly the same thing happened but now we've got uh, our functionality in a different script so in the future we might want to for example create different uh, enemy prefabs we might want to like create a random um, amount of enemies that differ from this one so we could pass all these through if this was static we wouldn't be able to do that so okay that's all I wanted to do in this video um, again instances are really important uh, we'll get through them later on so yeah organize your co code guys um, this looks a lot much better now so in the future we can just put another case blah 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 read through it a lot easier and put all the enemy controller things in this script. So that's it for this video. Um, in the next video I'll keep working on this system and uh, make this into an actual game. So thanks for watching guys.